In this video, we are going to use a train semantic segmentation model for video segmentation. Hi, this is Nikhil Tomar and you are watching Idiot Developer. So, let's get started. In one of my previous video, I have built and trained a unit on person segmentation dataset. In this video, we are going to use the train model and perform video segmentation. So before working on the video segmentation part, let me just show you how this model is work. So this model is trained on 10 data set only and I'm going to run test file. So it's uh, going to run on these six images and these are unknown images. I've taken it from the internet. Okay. So it's, it's the program has run. So we're going to see the saved images. So you can see with the images and all the areas blackened out, we only have the area where the segmentation is performed. So we have only got the masked out area. So in some areas we can see it need improvement. So what you can do, you can train it more on more data. So you can apply data augmentation, use different architecture. So you can see some, some photos it's good and some it is bad. I'm going to use this to perform video segmentation. And the video is this, this is Elon Musk video, short video of just 40 seconds. So we're going to use this video for and segment out the alone musk from it so let's start the code first of all we are going to import all our li libraries which we require let's set it to two so we won't get any of the tensorflow un unnecessary messages or warnings now we're going to import numpy Next is a CV2 which we are going to use to read the video and get the frames and save back all those frames and get the video back. Next is the TensorFlow. So we have trained our unit in the TensorFlow. We have built our in the TensorFlow. So that's why we need TensorFlow here. Name is equals to main. Let's set the video path first. So video is Elon Musk MP4. Now we want to load the model. Model is equals to f dot keras dot models dot load model. Okay. And the name of the model is unit dot sql. Okay. So you load the model. Now we're gonna see summary of the model and check if it is running or not. Just to confirm. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, so you can see the model is fine. We are getting the summary. So let's remove this line. Now we're gonna first start reading the frames. Okay. Let's write some code. First of all, we're gonna capture that video. Okay, and get the height and width because we also need to save the the frames, the predicted mask. video capture video path okay next we're going to read some frames first of all we're going to read a single frame okay now we have the frame okay, this frame now we're going to get its height and width we're also going to give us channel but we don't need that channel we only need height and width frame dot shape okay now we're going to release this video. So what we get from here is we're going to read this first frame and we're going to get the height and width. So why do we need height and width? Because we're going to use this use these frames and again we are going to save them. So for that, for saving them, we need height and width. So that's why we are getting the height and width of the original video. We can print the height and width here. Height and width. And we can run it again and see the if it is giving us correct height and width for that video. So you can see we've got the height and width. Height of the video is 480 pixels and width is 584 pixel. Now let's move to the next part. Next we we wanna write the code for the file on which we are going to save our frames. Okay. 
वीडियो राइटर ओके एम जे ओके पी एन जी नेक्स्ट इज द नदर वेरिएबल आउट पी बी टू डॉट वीडियो राइटर फर्स्ट इज द नेम फॉर द कंप्लीट पाथ नेम इज द पाथ ए वी आई सो वी गोन सेव इट आउटपुट डॉट ए वी आई फोर सी सी नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट नाउ हेयर वी टू स्पेसिफाई दिट एंड हाइट नेक्स्ट वेरिएबल वी सेट इट टू ट्रू नाउ अगेन वी गोन कैप्चर द वीडियो लाइक दिस सेम प्रोसीजर ओके we're going to create a while loop here because we don't know how much frames are there in this video so we're going to use a while loop return the frame cap dot read so this function cap dot read is going to give us a frame and this ret variable what it return n if it return false this means that the there is no frame so we're going to release the resource both these things the cap we are going to release and this out dot out will release so it will save this our uh, output dot avi file now if it is not false then we are going to continue with our thing height width and again okay we already have captured the height and width above we can use that we don't need it again now or let's save the original frame in another variable because we're going to process the this frame the frame is going to cv2.resize so we're going to resize this we're going to resize it to 256 by 256 next we're going to expand its dimension Okay, not CV two. It is going to be NP dot expand dimension because uh, we're going to set it like a batch size of one. We're going to give it a batch size of one through this expanding dimension. So here, let me just give a preview. The size of this frame is two fifty six by two fifty six by three, and from here it became like one comma two fifty six by two fifty six by three. Okay, so we have to give Im image in the form of batch. Okay, so we're going to create a batch of one here. Now we're going to just normalize the frame pixel by dividing them in two fifty five. Now here comes the model. We have the frame. We have expanded its uh, dimension. Now we have also normalized the frame pixels. Now we're going to need the model and predict the mask. The mask is equals to model dot predict, giving it the frame. And we're going to extract out the first image. So here, the size is going to be like again same, one comma two fifty six comma two fifty six comma one. So mask is going to be mask zero. So it will give us a size of like again two fifty six by two fifty six by one. Okay. Now what we need to do? We need to just we're going to use threshold value to Because the mask and pixel values are between zero and one, so we need to convert them to either zero or one. So for that, we need to use a threshold. Let's write it. So let's write it here. Only mask is equals to mask. If pixels are greater than point five, it should be one. Otherwise, it should be zero. Now mask is equals to mask. Yes. I'm going to change it to float thirty two. Okay. Next again, we're going to now the size is two fifty six by two fifty six, so we need to resize it to original height and width of the video, okay? Because we need to match the dimension of the video frame and the predicted mask frame. Okay, this mask and here we'll give the width and height. Always remember. In the CV two dot resize function, first is take the uh, the array, the numpy array, and in in and uh, after that it take a tuple of width and height, not height and width. Always remember, it just confuses people. So it's width and height. 
so for our um, just for our self let's print the shape what is the shape we are getting here we have resize it okay we have some issue with this okay okay here let's check it again it's in the line number 18 okay so let's check the line number 18 what is line number 18 it for cc okay okay i've just uh, done a mistake video writer should be should be like this now let's again see the dimension okay so you can see it's 480 by 584 we need to add another dimension Okay, it should not mask it should be np dot expand dimension mask on axis last axis that is minus one minus one refer to the last element always whether it's a list or some axis now what we have we have the original frame okay now we have the mask and mask it has the value of zero or one so what we're going to do we're going to multiply the mask with the original frame okay so what we're going to get we're going to get so if anything multiplied with zero it remains zero this means the black pixel black color will be visible and if it is one then the pixels would remain same so we are going to get the the image which we have segment the segmented part only combine frame is equals to original frame into mask okay so we have this so now we're gonna change its data type to int 32 combine frame to astype is type np dot unsigned integer 8 not integer 32 integer 8 now what we can do we can first check the frame how the frame looks so let's do one thing create a variable called index because we also have to give name to each frame before saving all the frames in a form of video we're gonna which we're gonna see them visually how they look individual frame so we're gonna save them let's in the folder video it's blank Okay. And next is the combined frame. Okay. Let's increment the. So let's do it. Move to the video folder. Okay, we have some. Issues. Okay, it should be. I am right. I am making a lot of mistakes here. Don't worry. Everything would run at last. Error just a part of life. If you are a programmer, then error is a part of life. So here you can see we have some frames where we can see the individual frames. Let's do one thing. This frame zero. You can see it's also segmenting this watch. This thing, not a watch, kind of a watch let's come to the part where Elon Musk is there okay so you can see we are kind of partially segmenting the Elon Musk correctly but some part is still there which is over segmentation that need not to be segmented and in some part there is under segmentation so we can say the model is fine because it's not trained that much so it's good it's no issue so what we can do we can just stop this and now we can now these all frames are going to be saved and form a video so you can see Elon Musk is visible only if we just video kind of thing let's move back and kind of save our thing in a form of a video so we already created a video copyright video writer variable now we're going to set out dot write combine frame so i'm going to run this it's going to take a little bit amount of time so till now we're going to see okay we have output dot avi is created okay you can see it has a size of 1 mb this means some data is is there in so let us play this okay we have some initial frames and it's writing still writing frames so that's why this kind of you can see it's increasing increasing so it's writing 
also and we are visually seeing also so you can see the video is nice if we train it more then we're gonna get good performance okay so the aim of this video is to just not to just uh, make a video say segmentation which is proper and fine and accurate the aim is just to help you how can you perform video segmentation how can you extract from extract individual frame from video then process them then predict the mask and then how you can combine them and again combine all the frames to form a video so that's the task and i believe i have completed that so now we have reached the end of the video so this means you enjoyed the video like it so then you can share it with your friends like it subscribe it and uh, or subscribe the channel and if you still have any query then please comment below thank you have a nice day